Uh, my name is uh, Robert Kofilate. I'm a chemical engineer by profession, and I currently work with Ghana National Gas Company, and uh, I hold a position of uh, general manager operation. Over many years now, I've been yearning to advance my education. It has not been easy because when I look around all the institutions, universities we have, and their schedule of lecturing, especially the orthodox universities, I have realized that it's something that may put so much pressure on me because my work demands so much of time. And um, lo and behold, when I chance on NIPS and I did thorough research and I delve into what exactly they do, especially with their schedule of lecturing, flexibility in attendance of lecturing programs and what have you, I noticed that, well, this, would have, this is the real place for me to advance my education. So that's exactly the main reason why I chose um, NIPS. And I will say that and I've not regretted and I will never regret of attending a NIPS. I have uh, reached certain pinnacle in my career as a professional engineer, as earlier stated. And the motivation is knowledge acquisition and also sharing knowledge and uh, be able to position myself in such a way that if I'm able to attain this academic ladder, that's a doctorate degree, uh, I should be able to have that satisfaction you know, in my education aspiration. And I know that um, I've acquired such knowledge which would really enhance my decision making especially at the boardroom, with management team, with my peers, and also to lead my people effectively. My research actually um, is about the effects of uh, strategic leadership on organizational performance uh, in the Ghanaian oil and gas industry, uh, the moderative role of its innovativeness. Uh, I chose this topic uh, purposely because of many uh, challenges that has to be, de be devil in our oil and gas industry in Ghana. And as such, I know the human perspective in handling issues pertaining the industry is so paramount. So I chose this purposely because uh, for that reason, it will, uh, it will make leaders who are managing our resources to be able to acquire or me impacting that status quo, that environment, to ensure that we move from where we are now to a better uh, position in our environment. So for me, it's a knowledge that I've attained and uh, I've been able to understand really what leadership is all about. I've known what leadership has been, but to marry that with the theories and understand really what it takes for leaders to use those theories in managing affairs of our resources and our environment as such, that has been well with me. And note that it also encompasses uh, innovation. Innovation is actually one of the you know, way to go. Uh, otherwise, wouldn't also improve or attain new way of doing things. So innovation has also been one of the few things that I've identified. Then I also know that in all these things, it's all in your, into organizational performance. So the main outcome has always been that 
Um, we are in a very new era in our oil and gas business in Ghana. And there are so many more of things that leaders or the industry need to more or less, uh, you know, get informed or be able to grab, to be able to move from where we are now to a point where we want to, to, to reach. So these are many things that I've identified in my research. And I hope I'm going out there to be an agent to impact this industry and to impact the society and to impact my country in such a way that we'll be able to do things in a new way, in a new approach, and to achieve the performance that we all yearn towards as the people of Ghana. Having been here, seeing this edifice, the serenity we have, the way our lecture rooms are well fitted with uh, art, uh, the, the latest of technology, making things so flexible for executives like my good self out there who also want to come in, you know, to advance the education. I will gladly, not only will we gladly to sell out NIPS to others, but even I will make sure those who are even growing up now, my children, everyone who are involved to come to NIPS. They can start here even from the uh, MBA level, move to the doctoral level, and so forth and so on. Because there's so much of practicality of things we do here in NIPS. Uh, it's not the normal trends of uh, academic or theoretical way, but there's a practicality marrying with the theory of things we do over here at NIPS. So I'm sure I'm going to be the real agent to sell our needs to others. I'm feeling so elated, so happy. I first of all thank uh, God, it has been God, because uh, he has given me this uh, enablement to get to where I am today. And uh, we've gone through a lot of uh, classrooms, activities, uh, comprehensive exams, assignment, whatever it is, having sleepless nights. Uh, my family has sacrificed so much. I thank my wife, uh, Honorable Dr. Agnes Namomolate, MP for Crowo, you know, for sacrificing all those days, times that I could use to be with her and the children, to be studying, doing my assignments. You know, the encouragement alone has been so much uh, great. So today, putting all this together, I'm more than happy, excited that at long last, I can also be called now Dr. Robert Kofi Latte. Thank you.